a lake out there. We got some bait jumping behind us. I've seen a couple tarpon roll, so we're gonna go throw some plugs at them and see if we can hook up on a tarpon. There he is. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. Good one. Not too big. All right, we stuck them. One's just coming up. These tarpon are blowing up on minnows, and we're throwing plugs in there, and it slammed it. It slammed it. It's a good one. It's a good one. They're still blowing up. He's hanging right in that way, right there. All right, again, we are fishing. Oh, nice jump, nice jump. We're fishing the Tsunami Salt X 6000. This fish isn't even running far, so we're good on this one. But we got, oh, straight off. Straight off, straight off. What Broke off? Yeah, I just got frayed off. Oh, it broke me on the reef or a bluefish or something. Yeah, there's blues out there. Little bluefish touched the line and that was it. So that's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes you don't hook them at all. Sometimes you fight them and then lose them because of something dumb. But I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that fish is whooped and it had a bluefish bite the line. That caused me to lose them. But we're gonna go head up to Brown's Taxidermy right now because I have a tarpon mount there that is ready for pickup. So now we're heading into Brown's Taxidermy. We're right here in Port Canaveral, Florida. This is just a little ride up from where I am. And uh, we're gonna go check out some of the work they got in here. And this stuff is just insane. I mean, we've got Sailfish Wahoo. They do full mounts, half mounts, completely custom, whatever you want. Or if you just wanna come in and buy some decorations for your house. We've got Amberjacks down there. Look at the detail on these tunas. Super pretty. Dolphin. Over here we got, oh, the hoggies. You guys know I like some hogfish. There you go, get a better shot of this one. He's a little lower. Just the detail is insane. These are all hand painted. So you can send them a picture of your catch and they'll make it look exactly like what you caught. It's beautiful. And then the full mounts are just awesome looking. These little guys. So whether you have a picture of your catch or you just want to say, hey, I need a 70 inch tarpon or whatever they can do all that you just tell them what you got and uh, Go ahead and go from there So we're heading to the back here. This is the shop. You can see lots of stuff going on it's Just some stuff they're working on here These guys are getting ready. It looks like And you got Travis back here. What's he got going on here? Ooh, mutton mutton snapper Just finishing up on that mutton back here and I want to give you guys a real good look at this one this giant tarpon this thing is gorgeous and it's coming home so last summer I caught that really big tarpon in the surf on a little swim bait right here Woo! 
And to get the measurement, what I did, I saved the lure and right around here is fray. That's where the tail, the fish is hitting the lure. So then we just went ahead and measured that. And it's probably not a completely perfect measurement, but this is the exact lure that the fish was caught on. It's got no eyeballs left, little three ounce swim bait and got a giant tarpon on it. So this is the one we're gonna be picking up. That thing is just insane looking. So back here, we got Papa Brown working on packing up the sailfish here. And he started this over 40 years ago. They were the first people around here doing it on the Space Coast, Florida. And they just got it dialed in. And look at how secure this thing is. This one's getting shipped. It's a beautiful sailfish, really secure in there. And then uh, we got a couple more things. We're gonna head out back and show you out there. So these are future projects. These are the molds with the glass in there. And then what, it dries and you have to pop them out? When they pop out, they'll look similar to these guys right here. These are half-sided models that we make. And, okay. You know, we make dozens of these a day and you know, we sell all sorts of those. That's awesome. It's a giant red snapper fresh out of the mold. We just had our little mini red snapper season. Our whole four days we're allowed to catch them for five days yeah, oh and those are the fins yep got the fins on there it'll need to be grinded down like you'd see in there in the sanding room and fins and eyes this one gets an open gill plate and uh, that's about as big as they get right there it's probably one of the bigger molds that we have for red snappers so how do you get these molds well uh, my dad you know he's been doing this for, for a very long time he made a lot of molds and then we have other friends in the industry that uh, we trade back and awesome. forth with, you know, because we can't have a mold of everything, but we got friends that do, so we get uh, So you can get any fish you need. Look at the size of that wahoo. Yep. It's freaking 80, 100 pound wahoo. wahoo. This wahoo is actually the Port Canaveral record for a while. Is that a mold you guys made? Yep. Nice. So what's up with this Mako? This is something pretty cool that we're working on this week. It's a new record in Canada for a short fin Mako shark. So almost 140 inches long. Thing's giant. And, uh, we got to get it all finished up. We're putting the teeth back in it. Get it all painted. It's going to be three dimensional, and it's going to hang up in Canada at this marina because it's the new record, and uh, should be pretty cool once it's finished. That's awesome. We also do uh, lobster mounts off of. We use the real lobster. We hollow them out. We use a special chemical that helps eat all the meat out. We pose it in the position that we want it. You gotta spread all your fins out to keep them from, you know, separating together. Once he's all cured, we'll put him back together and mount him on a, uh, a rock or like a piece of lattice. And they look really nice when they're all done. So if you guys want, you know, he'll have the phone number on there to call. And uh, if you guys get any nice lobsters, try to keep them all intact with the legs and if a couple of them fall off, we can stick them back on so it's not a huge deal and uh, they turn out real nice when they're done. Things cool looking. So whether you're looking to get a half mount, like this snook, beautiful snook, but you see the half mount, it's like half the fish, or a full mount, which is like this tarpon, giant tarpon down here, you can see it's got the full shape of the fish, or even a 3D mount. The 3D mount's like something that you would, you can hang up and it's painted fully all the way around, just looks insane, looks awesome. Uh, they got you covered. Brown's Taxidermy in Port Canaveral, Florida. And if you mention this video, you get 10% off. So again, all the contact information will be at the end of the video and then in the description. So you can just copy and, place it, copy and paste it or click the link straight to their website. So that is what we're working with. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, Travis is gonna kinda secure that thing to a piece of wood so we can put it in the back of the truck and head home with it.